Well, a group of nuns are on a mission to heal the world with cannabis. They are the Sisters of the Valley, also known as the Weed Nuns. They're out of California's Central Valley. They work together, pray together. They don white habits, singing to bless their cannabis plants. And their mission is to utilize plant-based medicine to help people around the world. Joining us now, Sister Kate. Sister Kate, I so appreciate you being here. Thank you. Thank you for having me on the show. This is great. Um, what inspired you all uh, to create this? How did it begin? Uh, it was really an outgrowth of the Occupy movement. I was, uh, when Michelle Obama tried to talk to Congress about how unhealthy our children's meals were, and Congress filibustered because they weren't going to listen to a woman, let alone a black woman, um, and they declared pizza sauce a vegetable to make our our children's meals look healthier than they are. When Congress declared pizza a vegetable, I declared myself a nun. I started, it was supposed to be like a thumb, you know, uh, it was supposed to be a gesture of contempt to the establishment because if pizza is a vegetable, I'm a nun. That's the way I looked at it. But I was out protesting for four years and in the process met a lot of people who wanted me to formalize a sisterhood based on activism and spirituality and the we don't pray to the camp pla uh, cannabis plant and we don't uh, feel like the plant needs our blessings but we do uh, we do put mother earth at the center of our spiritual practices and we think if more people did that uh, we might be nicer to mother earth Oh, certainly the legality of this is interesting because California was the first state to legalize med medical marijuana in 96, uh, then recreational use legal in 2016. But in your county specifically, growing your 60 plants outside, technically not legal. Is that correct? Yeah, what we do, we've been in operation eight years, long before our sheriffs knew what CBD was. And we've been shipping internationally that long. And um, so, uh, and we've been legal at the state level, at the federal level, even at the international level, because we are compliant and we test everything. So eight years ago when we started, the sheriff didn't know CBD or hemp from cannabis. And we have a very, uh, and the, our sheriff has a stick up his butt about marijuana and he doesn't want to understand the difference. So they did try to shut us down, but because we pay all our taxes and because we're essentially in the hemp business and they've tested products coming in and out, they've left us alone because we pay our taxes and we follow all the laws. But our county has keeps changing their laws. First, they said it's completely illegal. Then they said, OK, you can grow hemp on 20 acres. Then they said, OK, maybe on one acre. I, we don't pay attention. What we say is we have a higher power. MasterCard, Visa, Discover, and American Express. Those are our higher power because those guys could shut us down. And we've been operating an online store, only an online store for eight years. And if we were doing anything illegal, we wouldn't have that privilege. So we quit paying attention to the sheriff and his war against the plant, and we do us. And we're grateful. And sister, that sister, I, I hear you, and and I know like so many businesses, the pandemic has really impacted your business. Uh, down, I, I reportedly fifty percent for the CBD oil and other hemp products. Um, what you do certainly unconventional. I appreciate your time. I'm sorry we don't have more time, but Sister Kate, That's thank okay. you so much. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider, and don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.